As I was growing up, not sure about what I wanted to do, the person who became most compelling to me was Julie Ward Howe, who was my great, great, great grandmother. And she was also the author of the Battle Hymn of the Republic. These are my people, gentle folks. My great, great, great grandmother was well known for her writing, for her social justice activism at the time of the Civil War, and was a strong uh, opponent of slavery. A golden web of love around us binds us to our home above. Those words spoke to me as a writer, as an artist, and as an activist. In 1861, I was invited to Washington by President Lincoln to be part of a commission that was looking into treatment of Union soldiers. After a day of visiting the camps, I went to bed and slept as usual, but awoke early. A feeling of discouragement came over me as I thought of the women whose sons or husbands were fighting and of those who languished in the prisons. But then suddenly my concerns were stilled. And to my astonishment, I found that the lines of a poem were arranging themselves in my brain. I lay quite still until the last verse had completed itself in my thoughts, then hastily arose. I searched for an old stubble of pencil and began to scrawl the lines, almost without thinking. Having completed this, I lay down again and fell asleep, but not before feeling that something of importance had happened to me. In the beauty of the lilies, Christ was born across the sea with a glory in his bosom that transfigures you and me. His truth is marching on. Her name was Julia Ward Howe. When President Lincoln first heard her poem sung, he wept. One of the heroes of mine is Martin Luther King Jr. And when I was a kid, I used to listen to his recordings that my parents actually had. I just want to do God's will. And he has allowed me to go up to the mountain. And I've looked over. And I've seen the promised land. Uh, this was his last speech to the garbage workers in Memphis the night before he was killed. His speech ended with the words that my great, great, great grandmother wrote that night. I've seen the glory of the coming of the Lord. And the sort of fusion, uh, the coming together of his mission and his vision and her mission and her vision um, gave me a, a great sense of pride and a sense of purpose. I don't think she could have envisioned when she got up at 4 a.m. at the Willard Hotel the night she wrote that poem, the impact that poem would have on, on the war on the Union Army, on her descendants. In my work as a writer, I think I feel the same strength she felt in pursuing her work. I feel a spiritual connection to her. Where the grapes of wrath are stored, he hath loosed the 